is up. Smashers hanging out at CSA. Going on 17.2 in the background. Check that out. Look at that. that. That right there. That's how it's done. See him yelling? By the way, that's Brooke. He's a legitimate badass. And if you guys don't know Rob, Rob's going for the pretty look right now. Now, if you guys don't follow Rob Blackwell, he lifts really heavy shit a lot. And he's about ready to tackle 17.2. I think he's going to get about 250. I think that's about what he's going to get. I won't, I won't put Ashley on the spot, but she's a sweetie and she crushed it. And there's Coach. What's yeah, up? that's Coach. All right, listen, we're going to be talking about thoracic rotation. Why? Because it's important. What happens is a lot of times with the thoracic spine, and I promise I won't interrupt this young woman's workout right here, but thoracic rotation, let me go like this. I'll tuck this. I'm not going to interrupt you, I promise. So what happens with thoracic rotation is our thoracic spine is designed to do this, except what winds up happening is the lumbar spine tends to take over and we start chewing up all the tissue inside and we get all gristly and stuck down. So two things happen. We lose thoracic extension and we lose thoracic rotation. We wind up recovering it in the lumbar spine. We recover it in the lumbar spine. We wind up getting low back pain. So you think that thoracic spine doesn't have anything to do with low back pain. You're wrong. That's number one. And number two is if we lose thoracic rotation and thoracic extension, we also lose overhead mobility. And overhead mobility with our shoulders, watch. It's not this. It's this. Right? So when we go overhead, we should be able to go overhead without arching the back. So I'm going to show you three quick drills to regain thoracic extension and thoracic rotation. They are so friggin' easy, you can probably do them in the aisle of an airplane. It's just that easy. So check this out. By the way, if you guys haven't done 17.2 or you don't know what it is, that's okay. It's miserable and it's worth every second. So we're going to grab a band. I'm going to make this, try and make this the fastest video on earth. And I'm going to put glare in the background just to irritate Kalen. So what we do is we take a bar, we take a band, cinch it up onto the bottom of the rig. Yeah, I can't do that, that's mean, right? So we'll go this way, just so we can, because otherwise, I have a good friend of mine, Kalen. He does all my web work. He's a stud. And uh, glare is his enemy. So there's two ways of doing this. One is you're gonna loop up with the bar. This is a modified thread the needle. So all you're gonna do is load this up and let's see if we can get this right. Good, right there. So we're gonna load up the band. It's gonna drag the arm all the way across and we're just gonna let ourselves hang out. So I am in quadruped possession and I'm just gonna let it pull me across, except here's where it gets fun. The band locks this out, right? So now I have the shoulder locked out. I'm gonna put my hand on here and I'm gonna push myself into oh, thoracic rotation. So the band is helping to keep the shoulder locked out and pulled underneath the body. This is gonna be almost like a pry bar to just kind of really peel off all that rust. And how long do we do this? Two minutes. That's number one. Number two is a little bit of extension and rotation. So get into, yeah, looks like I'm gonna be doing some ninja fighting. So we're gonna get into basically a standing modified couch stretch. You're gonna take this, we're gonna reach all the way back behind you while pushing the hip out. So I'm gonna do this from the side. So you're gonna go all the way up. And you're gonna hang out in this position for how long? Two minutes. So I'll show you what that looks like from the side. You can do this with a broom. So you're in this position. Pulls all the way overhead. And you just hang out for two minutes. That's number two. Number three, this is a fun one. We need to grab a roller or a ball. And so in this case, we're gonna use a ball, except we're gonna use a small one. And the reason is, we're gonna use this. This is a slam ball. If you don't know what this is, they're awful. That sound you heard, that's a slam ball hitting the ground. So we're gonna do two things with this. We're gonna undo the band, so you can see what I'm doing. Undoing the band. And we're gonna take our camera. The reason we're using a slam ball is because it fits between the shoulder blades. Ah. We're going to take the band, we're going to double it up. This is a super fun part because this is going to lock out the elbows. By locking out the elbows, it forces you to not cheat the movement. So we're going to go like this, we're going to fold ourselves over the slam ball. We're going to pick ourselves all the way up. And then we're going to hang out. Knees bent, pelvis disengaged, smash work slipping on the floor. 
and then how long do we hang out like this? Two minutes. That's it. So I'm like this, all the way, peeled all the way over. And that's it. That's how you regain thoracic rotation, thoracic extension, thoracic mobility, and you take all the stress off your low back and you can do this stuff anywhere. That's it, 17.2 going on on the background to CSA. Trev, Smashworks, check you guys out tomorrow.